What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Spanish campaign. In the last part, Great Britain declared war with us. Not good times indeed. So basically what I was thinking was that we... Well, we've got to repair this eventually, but I've actually been thinking that we've actually been making some pretty nice money now because of our trade. We want to keep it that way. So yeah can only repair some of those troops. We need to bring these people under control. And here, I'm gonna... I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I just had to blow my nose. I do have a little bit of a cold right now, but... Still pressing on with the commentaries. Oh yeah. So, I realized something. I went back and I read that comment, because I do read all of your comments. By the way, thanks for 800 subscribers, I finally hit it today. And, mm, let's see if we go here. Yeah, so that's the time. Okay. Well, basically, what is today? I don't even. Let's see the 12th today. So, um, yeah, by the 12th of December, you know, we hit it. I'm very happy about that. So, someone said this would not open a new trade route. And they were absolutely right because it's not directly connected to my capital. Now, in the new world, I think it's different because, you know, these connect that way. But, um, we need to take back Cuba also. It's going to be one of our goals. So, without further ado, we need to transfer this over. We need to destroy this. Unfortunately, we lost a lot of lost a lot of money doing that. Another thing is, are all the buildings basically repaired except for that? We are currently researching the plug bayonet. That's right. This army here, I want to have them leave. See, that makes populous. Nope. Okay, we're going to move these guys over here. En marcha! En marcha! <laughs> I'm going to try to retrain some of these guys. And we got gorillas here, too. So basically, we're going to end the turn and get our money now. What I want to do is I want to build a giant fleet and take over Britain. And there's a good and a bad side. Bad side is we're going to come into war. Well, not come into war, but the United States will actually be joined. So I'm not sure what I exactly want to do. I really want to take out Britain. I mean, they're at war with them, yes. I think I'm going to do that. I don't really care if the United States comes in, because we're going to try to ally with them. And with war with the United States? Oh, well. Oh, yeah, these guys are sieging Florida also. But that's where the real army is, amigos. Oh, <gasps> They took out my port. Oh, I hate these little pathetic rebel scouts. Hey, we captured them. Let's add it to our fleet. And we lost two men and we killed. Cool. Where am I turning this fleet? This, uh, uh, right here. That's right. Flota lista! Look at that. Oh, let's look at our... We actually went back down. Oh, it's because of those dang little pirates. Pirate scum in the Caribbean. This isn't parts of the Carib Caribbean here. Watch. No. Nope. Maybe it's because of the damage, isn't it? Okay, where's our giant navy? Ah, oh, yes, you're here. Do I want to see Janna fight these Indians this turn? Yeah, I think I'll do that. We also want to attack Charleston. Ah, so many people attack to attack. Not enough armies right now. Let's bring our navy here. We want to keep this definitely. Port Royal Jamaica. We can actually take that out, too, if we want. Okay. So let's immediately... Attack these guys. We're about to surrender, actually, so it's a good thing we're attacking them. Oh, we'll see you on the battle map. Welcome to our first siege of the campaign. This is going to be good, my friends. Okay, we got the armed citizenry, or our little cruddy peasants with patches on their things. See? It's kind of cool. 
I'm gonna try to give you guys some zoom ups, zoom ins, especially on the walls. Can't even use these demo cannons. That's pretty stupid. Okay, they're all attacking from this side. So we're gonna deploy our infantry very smart. I'm gonna want a majority of our troops. Actually, we're gonna put these guys here at this corner of the fort. And we'll get the pikemen. Can the pikemen. Are you kidding me? Why can't pikemen go on the wall? I know they're not wall formation here, but that's like a phalanx. Let's actually see this. Oh yeah. That looks sick. Okay. Well, we're in trouble. Okay, we're just gonna put a bunch of peasants up here on the wall. Can't dismount our cavalry too. That was introduced in Napoleon. So we're actually gonna bring them right here. We're gonna turn off our cannons fire at will because they're just gonna hurt our wall. And the general will be here. So let's start triple speeding as the the mob of Indians approach. We are not gonna make this another Alamo. And what's really cool is these little cannons are mounted up here and we should be firing at them as you can see. Let's watch these guys shoot at the Indians. Oh, they got Chief's bodyguard and stuff. They're they're gonna definitely lose this concern gonna have this nice little star fort area. Come on, omen fire. Ah. I love how the Indians even have their own little flag bearers. I don't know what they're doing. But I'll, I'll gladly sit here and have my guys shoot, at their, shoot them with the cannons. And the AI doesn't really know what to do because they don't have ladders or anything. I mean, you don't really need ladders. Interesting. Here's what I'm going to do. Good thing we have pikemen, right? I'm going to bring them right. I'm going to bring our pikemen out of the wood, out of the fort here. I'm going to put them in the square, the um, pike wall formation. Maybe we'll take them off and we'll just put them in this. The gates are glitchy also in this, as you can see, my men kind of half out. Sometimes the gates don't open. Sometimes they do. And when they do, it's really helpful. Okay, boys. Form a square. Except when they're tribal gunners. Then it's a pain. It is very risky indeed, actually. Just want their guys to be brought forward. Okay, we're gonna get our general back. Hmm. Oh, you know what, also? I'm attacking. They're not. That's probably why they're camping. Hmm. What to do? I'm gonna bring these guys down. And the armed citizenry. My pikemen are getting shredded. I should have just kept camped on the outside. That's right, we got pikes, pike. Um, mounted gunner guys. Okay, they're definitely not gonna charge up the hills. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna charge out. How gloriful is this? Glory filled? Gloriful? Hmm. 
gosh, on my like, Steam chats this weekend, it's... I've just misspelled like a thousand things. It's horrible. <laughs> oh, I even have spell check on my phone now for texting. It's horrible. It makes me not be able to spell like anything. You know, like, yeah, it's kind of funny. How my pikemen are being bosses. Going right after who they're supposed to. Their bodyguard. It's always good to kill the chief. And I believe they used up all their... No, they did not. Okay, well, we're in melee. I need my guys to form up. This isn't good. Okay, watch this. We're going to do a nice little strike here. All we need is their bodyguard to die. Because I know that we can fight off these guys. The Spanish, like, if you look at the um, history of the... I should actually give you guys some close-ups. You look at the... Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Actually, that crippled this unit, it looks like. No. It didn't, actually. I want to pull my general out. Look at all the guys we have here. Let's look at this melee. Crazy stuff. Look at this peasant. You show him, you don't even have a bayonet. None of our guys actually have bayonets. That's probably why we got so destroyed in the last uh, Indian battle here. You show them, pikemen. Oh, I think we killed our own guy there with our charge. Yeah. This Indians got destroyed. Look at that. Oh! Poor Indians. So yeah, what I was saying earlier was the Spanish, where the, they treated the Indians so poorly compared to the other European nations. Oh, get him, cavalry. Yeah, we shattered these guys. The battle should be over, right? Do they really have bowmen? Oh well, one more chance to hunt down there, guys. Goodbye, Indian. This is the last of the Mohicans. It's actually a... I think I ever read that, actually. It's like a, a famous play, book, story. These Pikemen, I'm gonna let them rest. They're tired. These guys didn't really... Well, they're tired, but they didn't really fight a lot. These Pikemen got shot by all these horses, they took down their general's bodyguard, they came in and they fought like men, so I'm very proud of them. These are just bowmen. I wonder, it's, it'll be interesting to see if the bowmen have better range than we do, or not. And then, um, I was going to mention this, but I did, I've been shooting some Empire Total War multiplayer battles, and I, one of them was really good where I was burdened against Russia, and I was wondering if you guys want to see that. So, you know, take two seconds out of your day and put in the comments if you want to see that. If you want to see some multi-player battles that I did. Let's stretch out our lines. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do... Have all of our guys... We're going to have all of our guys shoot one shot at them or not. They're going to... Okay, look, now they're frightened. Now here's what happens. Your units are wavering like this. Or they were wavering. That's a good time to charge them, especially if they're going backwards. And these bowmen aren't good at all. They're basically like the skirmishers of the Indians. I prefer musketmen. Musketmen are pretty cool. We'll probably get some of those, and I'll show you those in our American Conquest part of this campaign. 
and the invasion of India. Well, let's see. Let's try to get America under control first and Europe. Gosh, I was gonna. Sh I, sh I should probably hop on and do that five-minute video of Britain, of that empire I built. Oh, crud! Medicine man. Hello. Medicine men, those are the guys that clobbered my units. These are elite. These are the elite of the elite of the Indians. Not good. Not good at all. I actually, um, for another battle with a 2 verse 2, and I got ambushed by this guy with the Indians. It was amazing. Like, his ambush, he snuck up all these musket men on my flanks, shot apart my artillery. Looks like they have another unit also here. And not two medicine men units. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Okay, pikemen, I think you've rested enough. Did I mention that these guys don't route easily? Wow, my cavalry just had a field day. If there's anyone we want to slaughter, it'd be the medicine men. Okay, we've got very thin lines. Look how these guys lost half their men. Colonial militiamen also have, um, what do you call it? They have less accuracy. Oh, these guys, well, they have a chevron. No, these guys actually have pretty good accuracy. Thought I read that somewhere online. Yeah, but the thing is, Empire Total War battles online, there's not a lot of them at all. Let's watch this first close up of the Indians. About to get cut down by our superior muskets. Hold position. Oh, come on. Yeah. That's right. You shoot him down. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let our guys reload. So you don't want to chase them just yet. We want our, our guys to reload here. I mean, they can run around in front of my guns all they want. I mean, I'll gladly take some more shots at them. These would definitely not be a good guy. Good guys to to definitely charge my infantry with. I mean, we had trouble taking down those. Oh, these guys are gonna absolutely cream my armed citizenry. Oh, they're targeting my general. That's not cool. Target the poor peasants. Can replace them. Look, they fired and like one Indian fell. That's how poor these guys' accuracy are. 25. Look, he even has a pitchfork. I'm liking this. These tomahawks are very deadly though. Yay! Those guys are routing. These guys are routing. Yeah, I'm gonna cut off the video here, and I'll see you back in the campaign. I'm gonna hunt these guys down so they don't come back. Okay, I'll see you on the campaign screen. Welcome back. As you can see, only 13 of them survived, and those are probably some their general's body are because I hunted down all their medicine men. So that army's dead. That feels good. Another sloop been recruited very good listos para la acción sí cabidos de dos y a la espera a pair of that qué ordena capitán i feel like the brig can no the brig's good actually sí señor a pair of the general ship listo a la espera a pair of that Okay, we'll just repair because cost is zero anyway. Okay. So we got there's a giant army. Now whether three thousand dollars this turn, I think we should work on our military up here. Cause these are our most vulnerable here to be honest. Now we can actually recruit we should maybe definitely get some more line, some cav. Musket man, just because they're cool. Another line infantry unit, and that should 
Oh, so we're going to launch an attack. Oh, maybe we're not. Maybe we're not going to attack NASA. I've actually been to the Bahamas, too. And then we're going to get our trade link established again with these guys. So life is looking pretty good in America. Pretty good now that we took out our little enemies here. We might want to go against Algeria. And we are building up our fleet as we speak. Because we don't... Division of Labor. Oh, we're going to get our plug bayonet so we can work on our ring. And then once we get our ring bayonet, we can, um, you know, our guys will just have them. So we're going to end the turn and then end the part. Whoa! Holy crud, Brennan. Where did you get all those men? Okay, we, we lose this. Wow. Oh my gosh, they just broke it in like 10 different armies. I built that port from scratch. How dare you? It's one thing Brennan has over us a good navy. Life was good in America, and then the British came. I got it. I got to enter diplomatic. Oh yeah, you're you're dead, man. I'm sorry. Nuestra patria domina el mar. I mean, I get prize. You know, we might want to get our navy. Good thing our navy wasn't at that port because they would have been kicked out and wiped out. So, good thing we brought them back to Cuba. Okay, time to end the part. This is Code for Men 221 signing off. In the next part, we'll hopefully take back Georgia.